Hello and welcome to a short video presentation on Libero SOC FPGA design tool. In this presentation, we are going to demonstrate how to apply the netlist attributes using FDC constraint file. Netlist attributes. Netlist constraint file was introduced in Libero SOC 11.7 as part of enhanced constraint flow. Supported devices are Smart Vision 2, Igloo 2, and RTG4. There are two types of constraints. FDC constraint, which will be discussed in this presentation, and DC constraint, which is covered in a separate video. These are text-only files. You can use Libero's default text editor to apply this constraint. FDC constraint file. FDC constraints are used to optimize the SDL design using Synopsys Simplify Pro. However, you can apply them in Libero under Constraint Manager tool. These constraints are unique to Simplify Pro. Some of the constraints are shown here. FDC files can be created within Libero text editor, imported or linked as shown in the GUI below. For additional information on list of supported FDC constraints and their syntax, please refer to Simplify Help document. Now we are going to provide a short demo on FDC constraint file. In this demo, we are using a small design consisting only one flip-flop. We will observe the implementation of the FDC constraint. First, we will run synthesis without any FDC constraint. Let's double click on synthesis. Synthesis completed. Now let's open the Netlist Viewer. Click on Post Compile Netlist Viewer. We can see that both D and clock inputs have regular input buffer. We will use a FDC constraint for clock path so that the tool uses global network instead of regular network. Let's close Netlist Viewer GUI. In Libero, double click on Manage Constraints. Then click on Netlist Attributes. Click New, select Create New FDC Constraint. Provide a name. In Libero's text editor, enter the FDC Constraint. This constraint, constraint will insert a clock buffer in the clock line so that instead of regular routing, the tool will use global routing. Let's save the FDC file. Under Constraint Manager, select this FDC for synthesis and rerun the synthesis. Synthesis completed. Now let's open Netlist Viewer again and check Post Compile Netlist. As you can see in the clock line, a global buffer is inserted by the tool, which will use global routing for the clock to propagate from the input buffer to the clock pin of the flip-flop. Let's zoom in a little bit. This is a global routing buffer. This is helpful when you want to selectively promote any signal to the global routing. 
FDC constraint will achieve this during synthesis and make your netlist robust. There are many such FDC constraints you can use during synthesis by adding them in Libero's netlist attributes tool. In summary, Libero's enhanced constraint flow provides an efficient way to apply netlist attributes which leverages the architectural features of the micro semi devices and ensures a robust netlist for your design. For more videos and collaterals, visit Libero SOC tool documentation page of the micro semi website. This concludes the presentation on FDC constraint file. Thanks for watching this video.